All right. Hey, Boots. Sounds like you got some snacks there, man. We're gonna be. Yeah. What, what, what I'm just like? gonna make this. Put this right in front of the microphone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually really cool. So I've never really played much tabletop simulator, guys. But uh, a while back, I wanted to get to this for a while back. Uh, a while now, a while back, someone made a card game for Guild Wars 2, and there's even been an expansion. And I wanted to play it, but Path of Fire then became a thing, and so on. Uh, but I've got boots here, and we're gonna play it out. So it's a game within tabletop simulator, which I guess we won't do the full explanation of. But uh, essentially, as far as I know about the rules of this, which we'll go through with you all, it's basically Hearthstone with like a boon slash buff system and the numbers numbers are scaled a little bit differently. Hopefully, yeah, that's but, not too offensive for me to say. Yeah. But it's Guild Wars 2 instead of World of Warcraft, so therefore 10 times better. Yeah. So we're going to play um, in a bit of tabletop simulator and see how it goes. So I'm going to start up a uh, game here. So, uh, okay. so yeah, this is Tabletop Simulator, and as you can see, we've got a board in the background here in a lovely field, and I'm playing on my own. Boots is about to join. Uh, we get to choose a game. Now, the Tabletop Simulator itself has a bunch of default things, but there's also ones you can get from the workshop. I just noticed that you you started some game that isn't the game. Yeah, no, yeah, playing. yeah. So this is just a regular <laughs> game, and this is Boots' hand here moving around. Uh, but we, yep. we got from the workshop uh, Guild Wars 2 Heroes of the Mist, version 1.1.12. So let's uh, let's launch that bad boy up. But hold on a second, look at the oh, you missed the background in the other no, game. No, it was good. Was I looked at it already. I looked at it. I looked at it. So it's fine. Okay. So here we are, guys, in mm -hmm. the fractals of the mists. Woo! With this cool panorama, I kind of want to make another background and get some cool like fractals music going on in the back there. We'll do something fun with the audio, I guess. Um, but mm. here we've got a uh, a board game set up, and uh, we yeah. I don't know how long this is gonna take, by the way. This is going to take hours and hours, I'm sure. I would assume... Because <laughs> we still have to learn the game as we're yeah, playing. Yeah, I would assume that if it's anything like Hearthstone, that means it won't take too long. But so, uh, yeah. here, actually, if you look at the side of the board here, we actually have Google. So we can just Google mm -hmm. stuff on Well, actually, it asks, it asks to load, like, if you press the button properly, it asks to load... Um, the the guy's web page. Oh, page. interesting. Okay. But it's an actual web page, so you could type into Google if you want. Here's another one I like to do. Can you see my Google here? I can, I think. Really? Look at this. See? Look at how famous that guy looks. That's amazing, right? <laughs> uh, Guild Wars 2. What's it called? Heroes? Oh, no. I think it's individual. I think it's individual. Oh, is it? Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's yeah. a shame. Anyway, so yeah, there's the website. Oh, that's by Path of Fire. <laughs> that looks like an endorsement for Path of Fire. Look, <laughs> look, it's fine. Okay, so um, this is the board. And basically, mm -hmm. the objective of this game, guys, is uh, each of us has a hero. So Boots has a hero over here. Uh, he's not picked it yet, but he's going to pick one of the nine professions, one of the Guild Wars 2 nine professions. That's right. And um, I've got a hero over here. The heroes start with 80 health, and the idea is to kill the opposing hero. So, Boots, why don't we pick our hero first? Pick our class that we're Absolutely. going to be playing the game with. So over on this side of the board here, guys, this is the deck building area. And we get to choose, um, uh, like, what our deck is actually going to be built up of and the kind of cards that we want to use. So first I'm going to assign myself to, I guess I'm going to be blue team. Am I going to be blue team, Boots? You're going to be blue team, yeah. I'm going right. to be red team because I already am red team. Okay, so as a member of the blue team, you'll notice, look all these Guild Wars-y things. We've got the Elementalist, we've got the Mesmer, we've got the Necro, Thief. And there's all these beautiful cards that have been made. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got minions that we can pick from. We've got exotics, and we can even choose a legendary at some point as well. So this is the Shatterer that we've got here. So what what class are you going to be, Boots? Well, I feel like uh, perhaps at least in this game, Necromancer gets some love. So let's see if Necromancer could be OP finally here mm. in this game. Okay, interesting. So I'm going to go with Necromancer. Interesting, because I'm thinking for what it's worth, I think that I'm going to go with a Zerg strategy on my deck. Because I'm hoping that the game is broken and really easy when you zerg. <laughs> okay. So uh, I was going to go Necro myself, which is interesting. We both picked the same one out of the nine. I guess I, uh, as opposed to that, I will go uh, Rev. Because I really like this Rev art. I really like the Guardian art as well, actually, here. But I'm going to go Rev. Just because Rev is like the new one and the Lost Child to me. So I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna pick this. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're actually going to click this card. Or just one of them, I guess. No, Maybe? take the whole pack. Oh, okay. It gives, you, it gives you the class profession skills oh, as well. Oh, so yeah, look under the card, guys. We've got Unrelenting Assault here. What else is there? 
We got enfeebling blood, inflict two weakness. Oh, this one does a lot of conditions. I don't know if Ooh, I like that. Oh, interesting. Mm. All right. Mm. Well, so so we're gonna pick the revenant cards, which is first. Well, no, hold on, boots. So take first, take the revenant card off the top of the pack. All right. The necromancer, yeah. Yeah, the necro, and put it in your hero slot to demonstrate. Okay. Boom. You are this hero with eighty health. Then the uh, the class cards themselves. Pick them up in bulk and move them over to your actual deck, which is over on the board, okay, where we're going to play. So that already is 10 cards we've got in our deck. Now, each deck right. in, in this game, guys, is 50 cards. 10 of them are going to be skills, which we've already got by picking our class, okay? Um, but then the next are going to be minions, so we get to pick 40 of them, all right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and does that mean we can have any number of legendaries and any number of... I believe yes. But I think they were saying in the tutorial that you should try to do a balanced kind of mm. deck because the from basic to exotic to legendary, the cost for the cards, the uh, endurance cost goes up and up and up. Yeah. So it'll be far too hard to... If you have a deck full of legendaries, you're pretty screwed. Okay. All right. Well, so uh, if we want to browse the entire set, okay, of minions, if you guys have a look, right, so if we have our basic minions, this pile here with the foreman at the top, these minions cost one energy. Here we've got Wup Wup Chief. These all cost two energy. These all cost three. These all, and so on and so on. So there's an energy mechanic in this, which means every time it's my turn, I gain an energy. I gain plus one energy and then two and three. So the longer the game goes on, the more energy I have to cast my big skills. Uh, do you remember if that caps anywhere, uh, Boots? I think it goes to 20, maybe? It goes all the way up to 20, does it? So again, yeah. on, on Hearthstone, there's the mana system, right? So it's, it's basically a little bit like that, something. yeah. Yeah, so, um, so what we're gonna do is uh, have to build a deck that can do stuff in the early rounds to gain board control, and then can also, doesn't bottom out late game and has some big minions to do some nasty stuff, all right? That's right. What's the difference between an exotic one and a legendary one? They're just more niche cards, more specific? P more powerful, I think. Um, so exotic cards are more powerful than basic cards, but cost more generally. Okay. And legendary is just more powerful than that and cost more. But so if you look at the card, there are three areas, right? You got, well, four areas. You got the yellow thing at the bottom. Yep. That is the energy. cost. That is the energy, the endurance cost. Uh, then you have the two other numbers on the top with the little spikes around it. That's its attack. Mm -hmm. And uh, the red thing is its health. So, the, the so as an example here for you guys, if I get this um, this wailing lord, man, there's a wailing lord. This is a good, good one. If I get <laughs> this wailing lord, okay, to attack Boots's hero. Boots is Necromancer. I will do four uh, damage to it, and it will go from 80 health to 76. Right? That's right. So That's every right. car, every of these minions have an attack, and they also have a defense score. Uh, and basically, this is honor rules. So if one of us messes up, apparently it's just you have to live with the mistake. Essentially, is the way it goes. All right. So boots. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to build our decks. We have to pick 40 minions. I'm mm -hmm. going to mute so you can't hear me. Oh. And I'm just going to discuss with the audience what I'm doing during this okay. time. Okay. And while I build my deck, guys, Boots won't be able to hear me. I'm just going to put on screen Boots' hand and the deck that Boots is building so you can kind of see both, but you won't get to hear his logic as to why that works. So. Oh, but I want to explain my logic. Well, you can do a little video and I'll link to it if you want to do that. Uh, okay, I'll just tell you it right now. Okay, what are you going to try and do? Nicest. Well, I'm going to either do my favorite characters and animals... And I'm not going to look at the text or power themselves at all. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> or, so a theme deck. Yes, a theme. Just, I'm just going to look at the characters, see if they're pretty. I, I, I feel like if I spent too much time reading what each one does at this point, um, it'll take four hours to make myself a deck. Okay. All right. Well, good luck, boots. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna build mine. All right, guys. So here's the idea. What I'm gonna attempt to do is there's, uh, there are boons in this game. There's Might, there's Aegis, there's Protection. There's also the effect Fury, right? And so what Fury means is when we play a minion in this game, first it has to be turned sideways, it's inactive, and it's only on our second turn that it can actually fight. Fury minions can, can, can attack right from when we drop them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a deck of loads of Fury 
creatures for my revenant because revenants use fury right so that works all right so here what we're gonna do is we've got this big part right and now i could individually pull each card out right and have a look at all of them or what i can do instead is i can right click it and i can just search through this pack and now on the right what you'll see here is we've got a ton of different uh creatures right so i'm gonna see i'm gonna scroll very quickly through if any of these creatures have fury these guys have taunt so taunt means that they have to be attacked first. They kind of protect your guy. So here, look, Harpy Warrior. All right. I'm going to grab me a Harpy Warrior. And uh, there's two potentially of each minion we can put in. Right. So I'm going to put another Harpy Warrior down there. Right. So we're going to do that now. I don't know if Boots can see what I'm doing on my side of the table. I hope he can't. Uh, but what we can do here is we can uh, flip the cards like so. And we can put them... Uh, over onto our deck. I should probably flip this deck as well, right? And we'll put those all together. And we'll obviously have to shuffle this at some point. I put that into my hand there. We'll have to shuffle this at some point. But yeah, okay, so they had Fury. What else we got? We got Blinds on these guys. Uh, Wivens as well have Fury. So I guess I'll pick up two Wivens as well. And we'll put those there. Okay, so that's two Wivens. Uh, now let's go to the two cost creatures uh, and search through this deck here. So what do we got? Oh my god, there's loads. Oh, there's so many cool creatures. Steam Riders have Fury, but only one attack. So are they really that good? Because they've got two, two health. Is it going to be really that amazing? Oh my god, the Fire Imp in this game. That's amazing. So Fire Imp does one damage to all enemy minions when it's summoned. That's really interesting. Uh, and it costs two endurance to cast. Hmm. Oh man, so many of these effects I recognize from other places. This is amazing. See, all the Fury creatures in the two-drop slot only have one attack. Oh, no, this guy has two attack. So he's Fury with two attack, but only one health. So he's really glassy. I'm going to take him. All right, I'm going to take the Ice Imp. So I'm going to pick some Fire Imps up as well. We're going, kind of going quite impy here. Okay, and then lastly, I'll take two River Drakes. So when I summon a River Drake, I get cards. So I'll go with that. He has two attack, and I get to draw cards with him as well. Wow, so this is quite interesting. The Ascalonian Scout is, it, when it dies, we draw an extra card for every Ascalonian that's on the board. So you could do like a deck that's full of Ascalonians and you'd get lots of easy synergy there. Maybe I should do that. Maybe realizing that I should abandon my Wind Fury idea and just have lots of Ascalon Ghosts do it for Ascalon. That'd be pretty interesting. Hmm. All right, let's have a look at the, uh, the next though. So let's go up to tier three. Um, these are now cards that cost three uh, endurance to cast so i'll only be able to do these a little bit later i'm not seeing any great fury characters here except fuji shadow bane maybe um who has two attack and two health so i'm just gonna uh grab two of these and uh ignore that slot we'll maybe look at some um i don't know actually hold on maybe look what if we give people uh adjacent allies might and then what we can do is some interesting plays where we drop a furied creature down and it immediately gets the buff and then immediately attacks. That could be pretty cool. So let's go with Karmaloff. Oh, this is really, really interesting. Look, there are Titans here. Spark of the Titans. Hit, ad hit Attacks will hit adjacent minions as well for one damage each. Man. We can draw a card with the Reek Skelf, uh, Skelk. I do want a little bit more draw. If we're going to have a deck that's loaded with lots of low endurance creatures, kind of a, a heavy Zergy deck, uh, we need a lot of draw to keep our sort of uh, progress up with it. So let's flip those. And uh, there we go. I think that's the, that's that's all right with the three slots. So how many have we got now? We've got 14 cards. Uh, that's out. Or, sorry, we've got 24 cards. We're basically half full now. All right. So um, let's skip maybe the four slot. And let's go straight to the five endurance targets. And let's see what they've got. Oh, these Guild Wars 1 references are so cool. Rest again, the Eternal. Taunt, give plus one might to adjacent minions again, except he's sort of a bigger, tankier version of the other creature. Uh, I'm not sure I'm too worried about that. Uh, Fury, and it's on summon effect, is gain Aegis if you have another Forgotten in your arena. Wow, Forgotten Arcanus, that is cool. So he can attack the second he's dropped, and he has Aegis if he's dropped alongside other Forgotten, which is super cool because Aegis will block any kind of retaliatory strike on his first hit, which is Excellent. So I really want that. Maybe we can get some Forgotten Synergy going here. Uh, so yeah, Forgotten Arcanist. Man, I like this. I like this a lot. 
Uh, oh no, here's, here's another forgotten. Hold on, a forgotten sage. Gain one ages for each forgotten in your arena. Wow, so they get even all more synergy. So if I play a sage and an arcanist, oh, that's really good. I mean, they're quite heavy cost on them. But I really like it. All right, so two arcanists, two sages. There's more forgotten here as well. Was that another forgotten I just saw? No, those are harpies again. Put those on the deck. So we're up to 19 cards now. Well, there's a lot of cards in the five slot. Oh, Fury and Inflict Blind on these White Mantle. Stalkers with Fury. Hmm, the Stalker's not actually... It's actually quite tanky. I don't know why they did that. All right, that's about half my deck, though. All right, I'm going to hold it there because that's about half of my deck um, that's got lo mostly low, lower-costing minions, right? So let's go a bit further up now. Let's go to, like, the seven slot. So these are going to be some, some big creatures right here. Got Abyssals. We've got uh, Summon, give an enemy two blinds. We've got Phantoms. Oh, look at this. I see why they've called this Prophecy. Actually, I think the first expansion was called Prophecies. So these are just as many core creatures as possible. Sin is just a regular character. I would have thought she'd be like a legendary or something. So Sin has Fury. And when she attacks, she's got a lot of damage. She's an incredibly glassy Fury creature. And when she attacks, she inflicts vulnerability. I don't think I remember reading about vulnerability on the rules. But that's really exciting. So I'm going to take two Sin cards, definitely. Sin looks awesome. So uh, let's grab her. And dump her on into the deck. Uh, we've also got some other stuff. I don't know. I like what I like the idea of what Boots was doing, just like going for a themed thing. But all right, so uh, let's move up again, I guess. Let's check out Shadow Lord Vrogis. Now, there are four cards to choose from in this slot. There's not many. There's Garm. Gain Fury if summoned by heirs to Gulkin. Huh. Or we can just place him on our own, I guess. Here we've got Shadow Lord Vorgis himself, uh, and he cannot be attacked by any skills. That's interesting. We got 32 cards in our deck so far. All right, now let's look at exotics. Let's go with like some lower priced exotics first. Let's search in the, uh, well, I say lower price. This is seven endurance. I mean, Christ. All right, five damage to the enemy hero on my trin. Risen Lich, Tybalt. Oh, man, I should have just picked favorite characters and interesting creatures. Oh, man, there's so much to learn. I, I love the idea of a ton of players playing this in an actual meta forming. Give all white mantles plus one. Give all allied minions protection. So protection halves the damage that they take. Snaff. Defeated. Draw two cards. I like that. Let's pick up Snaff then. Welcome to the team, Snaff. Uh, let's check out this one. These, are, these cost 10 here. These ones cost 10. So we've got the Dragon Lich. Transfer up to three conditions from your minions to your enemy. Defeated. Draw two cards. Summoned. Deal three damage to all enemy minions. Taunt. Not sure I'm really too interested in that pile. Let's go up again. Cost 11. 11 uh, uh, endurance to cast. Let's see here. Kill any minion. Wow. Summon. Kill any minion worth up to 14 endurance. All right. That's not fury, but that's insane. I'm going to pick that up. Queen Jenna. Wow. She can slay some mighty beasts. Let's just put it that way. Oh, fire elemental. I should see what that is in this game. That's interesting. Uh, Armageddon Lord. Gain one might for each card in your opponent's hand. I have a feeling that Boots might burn dry. He might not have added much draw, so that might not be very good. Steal a random card from your opponent. Oh, Kazmir! That's so good! Summon Garm uh, for zero endurance. Oh, okay, so Air is a double card, basically. She's going to summon two at once. And doesn't Garm start with Fury? Isn't that what we saw? But do we have to put the Garm card in as well? And that takes deck slots. That sounds like that's going to be really annoying to mess about with in Tabletop Simulator. So I guess I won't worry about that. Um, but I'll steal some of Boots' cards. Sure. That sounds awesome. Welcome to the team, Kazmir. Hmm. Am I going a bit too top heavy? Let's look at legendaries. Let's look at the legendaries, shall we? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look at the uh, 14 cost. Let's get one 14 cost minion. Taunt and Aegis. So we got Ogden or, or Ritlock. Ritlock. Fury, Inflict Blind, Weakness, and Vuln. We're going to take two Ritlocks. Hell yes -um. All right. Come on, Ritlock. Can you get broke? Kind of annoying to grab these because I'm not too good with the cards just yet. All right. And then finally, so let's go Legendaries. All right. Um, search. All right. Here we go. A Legendary with Fury. Demos. Oh, I like it. Okay, 8 attack, 14 health. 
he lands with fury. So let's pick Demos up. Anyone else got it? At the end of your turn, gain three might. So Zira just keeps snowballing and getting stronger and stronger and stronger. She costs 19 to cast. Jesus. Taquara costs 70 to cast, but costs less for every point of damage our hero has taken. So by the end of the game, uh, he can be like a last drop savior. So I'll, 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 I'll bring her to Quartal. Uh, Scarlet? Oh man, so many of these cards actually seem really interesting. Enemy has minus five endurance and you have plus two from Glint. Really? What are they doing there? Like a time travel -y prophecy style thing? Sabatha defeated. We draw two cards. A bit of end game draw right there. Let's pick that up. All right, I don't want to go too crazy with legendaries. I don't know. Maybe I should go crazy with legendaries. Maybe that's maybe that'll be fun. Um, how many cards have we got? So we've got 31 plus... 12, so we're at 43 uh, out of 50. So I can get nine more minions. So let me just, um, let me go back to like some of these lower tiers. Let's look at some five costs, right? <clears throat> taunt, taunt, fury. So we'll take some razors. Man, I feel like I should have just picked a tribe and just gone with that tribe, like full forgotten or full. I mean, we haven't seen any other forgotten. There's no legendary or really end game forgotten. Uh, here we go. Cliff bats, they have fury. They get to do some quick early attacks. Um, oh man, see like Ascalonians, they're just staring me in the face. Look, they get a captain and stuff. Oh. Here we go, here's some Forgotten. Forgotten Curse Bearer. Give enemy minions three weakness. Good. Come, come, come. There we go. Oh, hold on. Uh, Enceles. So he's a crate though, technically, right? Inflict vulnerability. It's weird that they chose for him to be a really, uh, you know, regular mob. Pink Moa Fury. It's got to be the pink. Oh, but pink mowers are going to be in Boots' team because he's going for cute things, right? Oh, here we go. Here's some draw. Script Mercenary. Jesus, four attack. Super glassy and it has draw in it. Wow. Oh, I bet that Script are like a really good Zergi strat. I bet they've got some good uh, like uh, tribe cards and, and buffs and uh, synergies. All right, let's pick those up. <clears throat> let's see how we're doing here. So 37... Uh, plus 12 is 49. So the final one we'll pick up is... Let's, go, let's grab another legendary, shall we? All right. I want to see a legendary forgotten. Is there a legendary forgotten? No, there's not. Uh, they're all raid bosses, really. Or a lot of them are raid bosses. Um, Slothazor seems cool. All right, let's go Zomoros. Nice. As far as legendaries are concerned, lower cost. Draw, draw five cards. I don't know what max hand size is in this game, so we'll see. But there we go. All right, so that whew, is my Fury deck. So let's place all of this down here. 50 card deck. And I'm going to unmute and say hi to Boots. All right, hi, Boots. I'm back. Hey, I'm not even close to being done. Oh, really? Yeah. How, how's it uh, looking over there? I'm trying to see if I can snoop on you, but I don't think I can, sadly. Uh, uh, it's going see. okay. I've gotten through the basic cards. Okay. Why are you you're looking at every single card for cutesy ones? Uh, no, I'm not anymore. I'm looking mm. actually at the things. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So what you've got? Uh, how many? You got you got ten for your class, and then what about the forty that you're building? The forty? I don't know. I just picked out the cards that looked pretty good. Um, I was gonna do a second pass to whittle it down afterwards. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's tough to say. I, I've never played this game before. I don't know what you usually ramp up to. You know how quickly? It yeah, ends. I don't know. I don't know. It, I know that it's it's basically like Hearthstone, but with a lot more health and more cards in the deck, right? Because we yeah. get 80 health instead of 30. And what is it? 50 cards instead of 30? Is it a 30-card yeah. deck in Hearthstone? Um, no hero powers, basically. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. So anyway, I'm ready. I guess we'll just wait for you. Uh, for everyone else, so uh, we can shuffle our deck now so that we don't know the order by just giving it a quick little shake. And now we don't know what's in there and we can't cheat. We can also just... Oh, wait, wait, wait. That, <laughs> that is cheating. Uh, there's a button to just shuffle it instantly. Uh, I don't know what it is, though. So there we go. We'll just we'll just shuffle it again like so. <clears throat> and uh, I think I'm ready. So over here as well, guys, we've got damage tokens. And as people take damage and stuff, we can grab these and plop them down. There's a coin here that we can flip for any coin-based effects. Which this I is my uh, favorite part of the game. Uh, yeah. Have you got coin-based effects in your uh, in your deck? No, no, I don't. But I do like flipping that coin. Okay, yeah, it's cool. It's one of the few things with audio on it. Well, let's see. I'm just gonna put it all together. Let's see how many cards I actually picked. 
and we'll find out if this is worth if this is if this is 40 cards then I'm I'm done I guess. So talk to me about how your curves look in boots. How's your curve? Oh, it's it's terrible. Like I said, I only went through the basic ones first, so it's like Oh, it's one... really bottom heavy. Uh, <laughs> it's very, it's very, very fast. Yeah, okay. it, hopefully it's fast, but it's probably not very fast. Um, 60 cards. All right, so I have to cut 20 out. Jesus, how have you got so many cards? What is this? I'm, I am i don't know. I liked a lot of the cards, okay? Wow, I liked a lot of the cards too, but I wish we could have done an entire video on the draft where basically you show every single card that they've made off. It's so awesome. So here, yeah, while you're doing that, I'll just read to people. So here's some rules here, right, guys? Here's some extra stuff. So taunt, okay? If anything has the taunt effect, it means it has to be attacked first. So a taunted creature can protect your hero, for example, or other creatures too, unless there's like adjacency effects or, or for damage. Uh, next, we've got this uh, very... Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, then there's endurance, which we've already talked about, and you gain one per turn. There's damage uh, and little damage markers that we get to drop uh, down. Uh, down here, we've got three conditions. There's blind... Uh, which lasts one turn and they have to skip, basically. There's Vulnerability, which allows you to do double damage, okay? And you get one stack of those per attack taken. Uh, wait, what does that mean? That means that you lose Vulnerability after you've been attacked? Um, say that again? It says, Vulnerability, received double damage, one stack per attack taken. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you take one attack, not like a full attack, just from one creature, yeah. you'll take double damage from that creature, yeah. and then you lose the vulnerability. Okay, the vulnerability goes away. Then we got weakness, uh, which halves the damage or that you can output, mm -hmm. and you lose a stack per attack. Uh, down here, we've got buffs. So there's Aegis, which lets you block a single attack. There's Might, which increases the damage you do. And you can add lots of Might on, just like in Guild Wars 2. And then there's Protection, which halves the damage that you take. So if a weak weakened foe attacks a protected foe, they're going to do no damage, right? So if you yeah. put Protection on your hero, just as an enemy drops a big monster, you'll be okay. Just as, you know, yeah. Slothazor is summoned or something. Or slothers or scales out of control or whatever. Uh, and so then, yeah, summon effects are things that happen when you drop the card. Defeat effects are when the card dies. Fury means that they can attack as soon as they're summoned instead of being inactive. And stealth uh, means that uh, the card is summoned face down and it can't be attacked until it, it attacks. And then it's flipped once it's attacked. Wow, so stealth sounds super cool. Yeah, it's not I, bad. I don't right? think I saw many stealth mobs in there. Huh. Man, so that's like Yu-Gi-Oh, you don't know what my trap card is style stuff right there. Yeah. Wow. I, 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 I think I only saw one card with stealth the entire time I was looking. And then again, I haven't did really you pick gone it? through all the... I did not pick it. Oh. I haven't gone through any... I only went through like one pile of the exotic cards, so... So this, that might be why. It might be all in exotics. Man, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I can imagine a lot of mobs that would have stealth. Is there a stealth thing mm. legendary, maybe? How's your refinement going? I'm down to 56. Come on, cut uh. those bastards. Okay. Yeah? Yes, I believe I have 40 cards. Gonna bring them all the way over to... Oh, I thought I could... I think, careful, flip those over. Careful, because I can see whatever. One of them I can see, so... Okay, and then mm. I grab the deck and I go like this. Yeah, and, and you it shuffle shuffles it. Shuffles it up. This is really cool to see you doing that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> right down. Okay. All Damn, right. man. We uh, just so that people know, we've already been playing for forty minutes. <laughs> yeah, deck building, man. That's how Jesus. it works. All right. Okay. There should be like starter packs, so we can just roll with those. Yeah, I also feel like they should make like a button where you could press and just get a random deck. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be Draft cool. Okay, so. But we now we have now? our ideas, and we both care about our armies and our minions that we uh, have uh -huh, uh, started uh -huh. with. So this Mine's all begins with a coin crappy. toss, does it? Yes, it does. Okay, so I will. Do you want to flip the coin or should I? No, no, no. You can flip the coin. You, you seem okay. better, more comfortable with it than me. Okay, so I'm going to call Tails. You call. Well, yeah. Tails I'll never fails. the opposite of Tails. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just, just having fun flipping it. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're that. getting and... good at that. You're getting good at that, Boots. All right, so okay. here we go. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. One, two, three. All right. Oh, 
Okay, so it landed heads, yes. so that means I you go this. first. All right, so yeah. you need to draw a hand now That's from right. your deck. So, so I think how you does could that technically work? just click on it and pull one at a time if you wanted to. Okay. Um, but another option is, oops, I just picked up one there. Another option is you could go right click and say draw. And oops. it puts in your hand. Puts in your hand. Can you see those, by the way? No, well, I see them face down. And try as I might, when I look underneath them to try and cheat, it uh, it's the same. It's just the same graphic. So okay. they're face down. I cannot see what's going into your hand. Okay, so I'm drawing six cards. And now they're in my hand, and I can okay. see them down here as well. You could draw your six cards too. All right, now, this is now, cool. Now. Can I? All right. Uh, it's not I when my so. turn starts. It's just, I guess it doesn't matter, right? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, and I just realized the reason you draw six cards is you actually are only supposed to start with three cards. But the reason they draw six cards is to do that thing where you put back cards you don't like. Oh, so oh, they're mulliganing, right? Mulliganing, yeah. So you draw six and uh, drop three. Okay, so one, two... You can't see my cards right now, no? I can... Ooh, let me see. All no, right. I can't yeah, see your okay, cards. Okay, 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 cool. All right, so I can put back uh, three of them and then draw mm -hmm. three. Oh, okay, right, yeah. I just put back three and I choose the three that I start with. That's an That's interesting right. mulligan uh, technique there, I guess. Is this how yeah. it works in like magic or something? Uh, that is, yeah, well, sort of, not really. What you do is you draw your hand of seven cards, usually in magic, and then you pick some cards, put them back, and then draw again. Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, so, um, so how do I put them back in the deck? Uh, you pull them back over the deck, press F to flip it back over. Oh, okay. While holding it, and then, yeah. Oh, I see. All right, all right, all right. But now that's on the... And then we have to reshuffle the decks And afterwards. then you reshuffle the deck, yeah. Right, exactly. right, 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 right. Okay. Um, I hope I hope Rev is a good class. I don't know anything about my class skills. I think... Yeah, me neither. I think my, I looked at mine for a second, and it looked like it was condition stuff, so I don't know if I like that, but we'll see. Okay, all right. Uh, Let's move and this. And I guess I will... Here. Put, Whoops. I don't want... I don't want too many skills. All right, okay, so I'm going to reshuffle with the deck now. Mm -hmm. I've got my hands. I'm ready mm -hmm. to go. All right. Okay. So is it me or you? It, it it's me, you. Right? You won the to coin toss. So you get okay. to start. So you're going to begin by giving yourself one endurance. one endurance. Every turn he gets new endurance, guys. So yeah. you now get to decide if you can play anything with that endurance. What, Which what I can. can. I will play no, a gloop. What? Wait, wait. Gloop. Don't you get to draw as well? Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. So I don't play gloop because right. maybe whatever this is, is better. So every time, every time you get to draw. Okay, so I play Gloop. Okay. And right. he comes into play, I think... Sideways to... first. So, yeah, rotate. R whatever. Sure, Q and E? He's... Can't you use Q and E to I to could use Q and E, yeah. There you go. There you go. So he's right, sideways, so, can... so he can't attack me for one turn. That's right. And uh, that's all I can do, obviously, so it's your turn now. Oh, so you're playing a Quaggan. Gloop right there. Interesting. He's a cutie. So he's a he does... cutie. He does one damage, he has one health, but he removes two conditions. That's a cool So like, really, card. I didn't get the full use of him right now because there are no, no. conditions on the board, but yeah. whatever, it's a one play. All right, okay. So I just drew my first card. Um, unfortunately, I can't play anything. So, uh, or maybe I'm choosing not to play anything. Oh. So I guess uh, pass it back to you. So it's your go now. So now you have two endurance. Right, so I will untap this guy. Yeah. And uh, up to two endurance. Remember to use your counter the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will, let's see, I will attack. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I will attack you with okay. this guy. For one health, so I go to for 79 health. health. That's right. Uh -oh. And then I will play this awesome guy. Oh, what is this? He's got a cave troll. Oh, you draw a card on That's spot right. summon. And he's That's quite right. tanky as well. Yeah, he's pretty good. All right. Okay. All right, go ahead. So you get to you get to do that. All right, so I'm now at two endurance. I get to draw another card. Um, right. Okay. So to counter your terrifying onslaught that we have here, I choose to play my River Drake. What does that do? Who uh, is going to be in a sideways position? But he allows me to draw another card immediately. Okay. Wait a second. I see a. <laughs> I see okay. a thread going on here. Uh, what? What do you mean? This is the first card I've played. You don't know. I know. You don't know what's We're, going on here. All I right. think we might have had the same idea. <laughs> okay. Well, so there you go. So, um, so I pass to you. Okay. I forget. 
can you you can't attack, but you could probably still block with your you, river drake, right? Yeah, I can still defend myself. So, but you he, don't have taunt, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, so you could ignore me, or you can take the fight to me. That's right. Okay, so I go up endurance, and uh, I think I will. Wait, isn't there some kind of mechanic that helps me to counter the fact that you ha get more endurance early or something? Don't I no. get essentially a coin? I'm pretty sure there is a thing like that, isn't there? Nope, not in this game. You suck. Uh, I think that, oh, well, anyway, it wouldn't have mattered, I don't think, but yeah, go ahead. Okay, so I will attack your gloopy guy with a cave troll. Oh, so I go to one health and you go to two. That's right. So I think what you do is you take one of these damage, damage tokens. tokens. Yep. Yeah, it has oh, to be Oh, that's a, one. a five. Sorry, yeah, whoops. I thought Oops. they were all just... I, oh, I, you Stop hog tokens? in the bag there, Boots. You, what do you do? You, you, you just click and drag. There you go. Oh, okay. All right, so all right. I took two damage right there. Uh, one damage. One damage. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, you took two. Nice. I took two. Oh, shit. Yeah, I took two. Oh, yeah, no. Get that, that in there. That was a stupid move. That was a stupid uh, move. Stupido. And I will attack you with Gloop. Oh, which means that Gloop dies and the River Drake dies. No, no, no. I attack you. Oh, you attack me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right. So I'm down to 78 health. That's all right. right. My go? Uh... Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, that's just your board. You're going to play that's something That's just my board. Yeah, yeah, I think I might play something. I think I will play okay. uh, Smoke Scale to deal Ooh. one damage to all enemy minions. Oh, okay. So I'm now on dead. Yes, he's dead. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Okay, so the discard pile is up face down or face up. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. I did see uh, some things allow you to draw out of the discard pile. I think face up is normal. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and we'll put that token back in there. Okay. Okay, so uh, Smoke Scale, what, is, what else does he do? Let me just get a feel for him here. That's it, it's just the one damage. One damage and he's got tickets. one attack and three health. Okay, all right. Well, you have very secure board control here. Not bad. And I, bad. I, I need to... Uh, any moment. You've curved out a lot better than me. I haven't got any early game here really going. Well, that's scary because I'm only doing like one damage a turn. And okay. this game's going to last a while. And I had a terrible draw there as well, unfortunately. But we'll, we'll all things in, in due time. Okay. So uh, I'm on three endurance. Thank you for ticking that up. No problem. Uh, and that is going to allow me to play the mighty... Uh-oh. Reef Skelk. That gives yeah, me another I see draw. what's happening. No, 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 I... you don't. You don't see what's happening. It's a coincidence. It's a quinky dink. <laughs> You don't <laughs> see, see what's, what's happening. happening you really don't. I'm not lying to you. All right. This uh -huh. is not my theme. My theme is not draw. I promise. My theme is uh -huh. not draw. All right. So, uh, so yeah, I, I drew again. And all this draw isn't helping me right now. But eventually. All right. It's your turn. Okay. So I will draw a card. Uh, go up in a mana. Whatever it's called. Endurance. Endurance. And uh, let's see. Ooh. This is tough. This is a tough one. Um... I guess what I'll do okay. is I will oh attack I'll attack well, your your guy, your reef skelk with yeah. cave troll. Okay, so I go down to one health. You yeah. go down to two? Uh go down to Oh, hold on a second. Oh. No, actually, no, I don't attack you. Oh, oh I, I don't know. It, was, I, it no looked like... No, 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 no. Oh. The, the, for some reason, the damage thing oh. stacked, and I didn't realize he had two damage All on right. him, not okay. one. Okay, right. uh, Look so, how yeah, forgiven I, I am, guys. <laughs> do not do that. Uh, instead... You know what? No. Yeah, I'm going to attack you with Smoke Scale. All right, okay. So Smoke, smoke Scale's going to be on one health left. Yeah. So there's a damage token for you and another damage token for you. And then there's one, one on you. me there. Yep. Um, and then I'll tag you with Gloop and Cave Troll. Uh, when you say you, do you mean my hero? Your hero, yeah. Okay, so I take one from Gloop and I take one from the Cave Troll. I'm down to 76 health. Yeah, and then I will play Magister Sierran to take back my smoke oh, scale. Oh, what to is my this? Hand. Magister Sierran, summon. Return any one minion from your hand to the board. What? And now you're going to get your battle cry effect back, your summon effect back. This is That's lame. Right. She right. is sideways. Whatever. All right. Let's play it by the book here. All right. I dropped I dropped the other damage token somewhere. I this can't find it. This is some grade A Bologna. Oh, well. All right. Okay. All right. It's your turn. Okay. So you never spent your last energy. You've got one energy left. You're not getting endurance. You're not going to spend that. Yeah. Right? yeah you're not going to spend it. Okay. No, All right. 
Is there a max hand side size? Uh, yeah, it's three, so you should just go down to three right now. No, come on, what is it? Do you know? Is there <laughs> I one? I have no idea. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's see here. Now, to everyone watching at home here, I'm thinking about this bad boy right, right now. Right, meow. I've got four endurance, so I could drop this. So he's active now, right? Mm -hmm. My scalp is active. All yeah. right. My this scalp is where has, it all goes badly for me. My scalp has two attack, correct? Your scalp has two attack, correct? Uh, indeed. All right. So, um, what else have I got here? Hmm, that's not very useful. I don't care about that too much right now. Uh, what health is Gloop on? Mm -hmm. One. The cave trolls on two. Two. And Siren's on one. One. All right. Okay. I play. Uh oh. Unrelenting assault. What is this? So it's a Deal one damage card. to all enemy cards. Gain one might per card hit. Oh no. All right. So I'm gonna kill Gloop with that. Yeah. And I'm gonna kill Siren with that. Yeah. And I'm gonna do one damage to the cave troll with that. All right, which I've just stacked on there. Thank you. Okay, uh, I go down to three endurance because that cost me one to cast. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and I gain three oh, might. That's a good card. Yeah. So where does that might go? Onto my hero. On your, onto your hero, I think. Yeah. Okay. So might is where's the might tokens? It's ah uh, here we go. I see them. All right. So I gain three attack now, right? Yeah. Now I'm qu I'm really wondering what the like what's this two oh. attack mean at the top here? Yeah, I was looking so. at that as well. I was confused by that, and I'm also confused. Can I now attack with my rev? I don't know. Can he d punch people and he'll take damage, but he'll punch people? I have no clue. Uh, well, we we can decide for ourselves. What do we want? Let's say no. <laughs> <laughs> no, you because you don't like that idea. All right. I think you need to cast a spell or something to do it to attack with it. Okay. How how does my how long does my might last for? Maybe maybe unrelenting assault is also an attack. So you do damage to the enemy creatures and then attack for two plus. Three, oh, because it's a might? skill, right? Skills I can aim at something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I give the might not to the rev, but to this. Yeah. So it's actually a five damage strike. I guess. All right. But it's only one time. So where do I want to put my five damage? Uh, it's a question. Board or... Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm going... It's a big hit. It's a huge hit. It's a big hit just to do one damage if I go for your cave troll. Yeah. Or I could just even it up. I'm, I'm going to do it on your face, which is stupid. And I know it's stupid, but boom. Let's put it on your no, face, I think baby. that's fair. That's fair. Let's put it on your face just for the efficiency. Okay. And uh, you know, even the the early game damage there a bit. Yeah, this is uh, this is tilted considerably in your favor. With, with one cast, that was a one energy one right there. Yeah. So these spells are pretty ridiculous. All right. Um, now I've got three energy, which I'm going to use to summon Karmaloff. Now Karmaloff has an adjacency effect. That gives me one might. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, for being adjacent to him, and my Skelk is no longer passive. This is the first time I've had a character that's not passive. So what okay. I'm going to do with the Skelk is I'm going to attack your face as well because it would be suicide oh to run it into the troll. Thanks a lot. Okay, so you're you're going to go down three more health with that. That's right. And now the might stays because the adjacency effect keeps pulsing it. I guess. I guess. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Your turn. Uh, I think the might stays no matter what. Oh, okay. All right, fair yeah. enough. All right, okay. Uh, okay, so I guess I'll draw and hope something else good comes up. Nope, nothing good came up. Uh, but oh, this goes up to five. <coughs> I'll use three of it to obviously use uh, this guy. Ooh, what do we have? Smoke scale uh, deals one damage to each of your guys. Your, your little guy, your reef skelk is dead. Okay, rip. And your common love gets one damage to him. Yep. I'm dealing with it. Keep it going. And I'll, I'll, I'll attack him with the cave troll to kill him also. Okay. All right. So cave troll Rip. dies now. Okay. Okay. And uh, that's the turn, I guess. Is that the turn? That's You've the got turn. two energy left, right? Yeah, but, you know, I don't have any cards. Oh, God. Yeah, is your hand empty? Oh, damn. No, no, it's not empty. It's just nothing All right. good. All right. My five energy turn. Here we go. We're going to draw. Who did we pick up? Ah, we got one of my early game 
minions. <laughs> uh, who unfortunately isn't very useful for me anymore. So I'm on five. Mm. I don't want to do that. That's a waste. I'm not going to do that. I can wrestle board control for you for the from you for the first time here. Easily. Yeah. Easily. 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 Wait. Oh yeah, no, that's 11. I thought that was a 2 for a second. Alright, I guess I've got a really poopy turn here. But, I'm gonna summon the Harpy Warrior, who has Fury, Fury. okay? Uh -huh, so, uh -huh. having Fury, what this means is he does not come in sideways, that's and he right. can make an immediate attack. And he's gonna use that to, just, to pump you in the face. Oh my god, that damage. Yeah, uh, and um, he's obviously very vulnerable there to your board, but there we have it. And uh, I pass my turn to you. Oh, thank you. Okay, so... Yeah, up to six, and I will draw a card, and okay, that's nice to know, um... Turn six, ooh, it's getting nervous. Yeah, 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 okay, so I'll attack your little fury guy with the smoke scale. Alright, he's dead. And I'll take a damage. Yeah. Um, but then I will play... Smoke oh, scale looks really cool. Alright, you've dropped a fire elemental, Aegis. So, if we remember from our little card over here, Aegis means that you block any incoming attack and it gets stripped. That's right. Okay, so you only have one health, but you have Aegis and five yep. attack. That's really scary. Yeah, it's not so bad. Man, he's a uh, he's a divine shield minion. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Is is that your turn then? That's my turn. Yeah. So I bet he's sideways, right? So. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay. All right. Well, we gotta remember. We gotta do. We these know things. these things. We, we gotta know do these things. things. It might get really complicated later, though. It's good etiquette. All right. All right. All right. So, damn. Do you know what my fury creature would have been so good to yeah, pop that shield? Pop that on the yeah. And then cast my spell immediately after. It's a shame you wasted it for one damage to my face. Yeah, when you put it that way, it's really silly. <laughs> just in the name of efficiency. Look, when I win by one health later, it's going to be it'll, really Yeah, big. it'll show, it's gonna be show really me. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna play around with this, though, a little bit here. Okay. Right? I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I don't really have too many plays available. Should I pass? That's going to be really bad, isn't it? If I pass. Nah, nah. It's going to be bad. You're gonna I think it'll be fine. Stuff. You're going to keep, you're gonna keep <laughs> dropping stuff. I don't know, though. I've, I've, got, I've got a synergy I want, but it's not so for many this, turns. Just wait for your combo, man. Just wait for your combo. You All have right. 76 life. Alright, I'm going to summon the Field of the Mists. What's that? Which is going to give me two Aegis on my hero. To oh, prevent geez. this okay. upcoming attack. Okay. All right. uh, so one. And then two. Alright, so I'm ready. I'm passing it to you now as two well. Two Aegis, that's nice. Oh, you have good spells. Yeah, they are good. Okay. Draw, this goes up. What is this? Uh, oh, cool. Mm, no, not cool. Not cool. <laughs> it's a spell. I didn't realize it. Okay, hold on a second. Let me think about this. Uh. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I'll pop your two Aegises. Okay, all right. Get rid of those. <clears throat> and I guess that will be my turn. You're not gonna play a card? No. No, no cards. Ooh, I don't know about that, Boots. I don't know about Sorry, that. Sorry, man. I, I I have nothing to do. I don't know. All right. Okay, fine. All right. So, I'm going to draw. I'm up to seven energy. Yeah. Endurance. Ooh, interesting. I've got another one of these now. You got a lot of cards in your hand. Yeah, but I don't know. All right. I'm going to drop. Oh, this is going to be so awful, though. Oh, I hate that fire elemental. I need to get like a damage off on that fire elemental. It's really, really <laughs> annoying. All right, we'll just cycle then. Screw it. I'm going to spend all of my energy on summoning Snaff to the board. To who, draw two cards. Who, oh, if when he's he, defeated. When he dies, I'll get two cards off of him. But for now, he is on his own. Okay. Okay. All right. That's not so bad. Okay. Okay, so I guess it's my turn. Go up to eight. I will draw... What's this? Ooh, okay, that's nice. Um, I will go straight to your face. Really? Wow, okay, so five damage onto me, so I'm down to 71. Yeah, and then I will play uh, this guy. 
Oh, what's he? Let's see this. The Ether Seal. Oh, the Massart Seals are here. Torn, Aegis, and Protect all on him at once. And he's got yep. eight health. Actually, he's a tanky put, bastard. I should probably put those things on. Okay, so where's Aegis? He should have a mechanic that reduces my incoming endurance or something. So because that's what they were good for. He's got Taunt and he's got Aegis. Damn, and that's so this. strong. That's like so gross, that stat combo as well. So I have to attack him now to get to more Aegis. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, you got a lot of Aegis here. I need, I need like something that swallows Aegis. All right, so Snap is ready to attack. And he's gonna strip the Aegis from it because he, okay. he's got nothing. Aegis there. is gone. So the Aegis is gone. Wow, that's cr and protection on it, really. Yeah. So this guy goes down four, I guess, four damage. Yeah. Okay, and you also go down two damage. Yeah. Oh, I didn't draw yet, so <laughs> maybe you should do that before you attack. Yeah. I'll um... get ready for it though. Yeah, can I take that back? Oh my god. <laughs> Do you want to? Well, if you yeah, it's want your to, call yeah, if yeah, you yeah. want to be nice or not. No, it's but there fine, are people fine, watching who are going to be like, go WP ahead. doesn't deserve this. Go ahead. WP go doesn't ahead. deserve this. Don't give it to him, Boots. Are you sure? I, I, it's up to you. It's up to you. It's, I, I'll leave it in your hands whether or All right, not I you made the mistake. I made the mistake. Let's, uh, let me live with the mistake. So All take right. the Aegis okay. off. I did the attack. I take two damage onto Snaf. Um. Where's where's some damage? To, okay, so Snaf's taken two damage, and now I cry because I just <laughs> drew a two energy. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm up to eight now, right? Yeah, you're up to eight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to do this. Uh, a two energy fire imp on summon deal one damage to all enemy minions. So Aegis is gone. So Aegis is gone and should and have been gone from that. Aegis but he is takes, now, well, he takes one damage. Yeah, as does the Smoke Scale, who's now just on one health. Yeah. Now I follow that up. Uh-oh. With a, Oh, hold on a second. Actually, I just realized that this guy had protection, so he only took two damage the first time around, not four. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right. So uh, I follow that up with a Forgotten... Oh, no, he took no damage because it was Aegis. Yeah. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I follow yeah. it up with a Forgotten Curse Bearer. Who uh, has two health, two damage, three health. And when he is defeated, he will give all of your guys weakness. Okay. Uh, and at that, I pass my turn. When he's defeated, gives all my guys weakness. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think you're lying. I think you, you're a necro and you want to have weakness so that you can splash it back onto me. That would be cool, but no. Mm, Deal one I don't know. I'm waiting for Epidemic. Him. Epidemic must be a spell. I don't know what it does, but I'm sure it was a spell that you've got. No, I don't have that. Okay, hold on. I'll go up. Draw a card. Hopefully it's the card that wins me the game. Uh, oh, that's, that's okay, I guess. No, it's not great, actually. Hmm... That guy took two damage, and you want to draw cards. I don't want you to draw cards. Huh. How are we looking? Are you on the ropes? Um, It's a quite evenly matched. We both have three minions on the boards. We're both at 71 health. We both have the same size hand. Well, you just drew, so it kind of... Yeah. Yeah, hold on. I think I will... So nine... I will. For now, I'm just gonna cast this Aether Seal. Oh, okay. So another one. What? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Aegis. Uh, protection. Where okay. is it? Protection and taunt. So you spend eight of your nine uh, endurance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I'll. Uh... Hmm. That's tough, actually. Mm, what are you, you going to do with your minionis? Mm, I just realized that you're going to... Okay, well, that's off. that's fine, I guess. Uh, I'm going to go straight for your face. All right, so I'm down to 66. Sorry, 67. Uh, no, well, he's, yeah, he's got five damage. Yeah, five, yeah, yeah, 66, 66. 66 plus another three. I'll attack everything to you. All right. Okay. Turn into me. 
Yep. My endurance improves. I draw a card. All right, who we got here? I'm pretty sure I know what this turn's going to be anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that's fun, but can't be cast. All right, so this turn, he becomes active. He becomes active. Now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Let's deal with the board, shall we? Um, oh, my God. This is, this, this is, like, quite tricky to look at here. So I have to get through the ether seals if I'm going to attack. You only have... There's one Aegis. Yeah, so you're going to have to get through both of the ether seals. Jesus, this is, like, nuts. It's going to take me a million years to burn through. <laughs> All right. And, and that's just suicide on the imp if I attack with the imp. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, the curse bearer can attack the seal okay. uh, for one damage. For oh, wait, no, damage. he doesn't have protection anymore, right? Yeah, so for two damage. So for two damage. All right, okay, that's so good. he'll do that. He takes two damage. He's at one health left. Yeah, so I'm at one health left. Because I just yeah, I'll, took I'll two. help by putting one damage Thank on you. There. All right. Okay, now Snaff. Snaff will die in the pursuit of this. How much health has the ether still got left? Five. Five. Five, is it? Five, yeah. All right, I'm going to throw all my stuff. Snaff's going to kill himself. The fire imp's going to kill himself. Okay. To take out that ether seal. Ether seal is dead. Okay, so we're, we're all dealt with there. Now, to replace, I drop a forgotten curse bearer again. Who's going to, when he dies, he's going to give you weakness, okay? Right, right. And I top him up with the forgotten sage. What's that? Who gains one Aegis for each other forgotten that's no. already in the arena. So he's going to have two Aegis. That's a lot of Aegis. Does it say each? It says each forgotten now. If we use the Hearthstone naming of things, I'm oh pretty sure boy. he would give himself Aegis right there. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, it doesn't say each other. Yeah, I think that might be an other there. But, I think it is an oversight. <laughs> which is why we're not going to go with that. But there you go. All right. So, Forgotten Sage, double Aegis, five health. Although, to be fair, hmm. he is a 2-3 for five. So maybe it isn't an oversight. Maybe he's supposed to have at least one Aegis. Although hmm. it's only five. Never mind. Yeah. All right. So there you go. That's my nine mana exhausted turn. Wow. Right that was an efficient turn right there. Okay. Right, so it's your go. Oh, that's tough, man. Okay. So I'm up to 10 now. I'll draw this. I'm waiting for some kind of Aegis Corrupt or something to come in. Uh, hopefully, that'd be great. Oh, I know what I could do. Mm -hmm. So what does weakness do again? It like halves the damage you do. And just once, right? One stack per attack dealt, sounds like it. Okay. Um, all right, let's see. That's interesting. I could do that. And then, yeah, I think I'll do that. So that's that. Okay. So I am going to first cast. Oh dear. I don't like casts. Smoke scale. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. All right. So, so smoke scale. This is another one. This is one damage to all enemy minions. Mm -hmm. So so one of your Forgotten's is dead, the other one goes down to two, and the other one also goes down to two. No, he loses Aegis. Oh, he loses Aegis. Good point. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, then I will okay. cast Reaper's Touch. Reaper's Touch. What does this do? Uh-oh. Deal one damage to all enemy minions, and you gain two protection. All right. So yeah. he's down to one health now. And he loses no. the second Aegis. Okay. All right. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so that's there. Oops. So that was seven total. Three left. And, uh, well, I guess that doesn't matter. Hmm. So these guys all have weakness, though, my guys. Yeah. So do we, I'll put a token on for that. Yeah. Uh, and I guess I'll attack. Yeah, I'll attack your forgotten. It still does one damage because it's half damage rounded up, right? Uh, yeah, I think so, probably, yeah. yeah. So I'll kill your other forgotten crusader with this guy. Smokes okay, yeah. all right. And then attack you with all the... Uh, uh, 
Yeah, I'll tag you with all the other ones. Oh, so what? what is that? We got a half inefficient turn management there. You could have done the attack to face first when weakness wasn't Yeah, I know, you. but I want to I want to get rid of them. Oh. So this is gone now. Wait, what? Cuz if I attack to face first, I Oh, have I see, right. You're doing kill. it to shed the weakness. I see. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So, you how much damage are you doing? Oh, 1 plus 3 plus 1. So, we're five. always going to round up, yeah. And then yeah. one. There we go. Okay, good. Yeah. I feel though like these guys have weakness again because I killed your other guy? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, so they, they each had two stacks of weakness because of your stupid dude, and now they're back again. They all still have weakness. But why did they... Okay, all right. Well, there we go. So, uh, sorry, anything <laughs> else on your turn? Um... Yeah. Okay. No, no, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'm good. All right, okay, so... Forgotten Sage becomes active. <clears throat> and he, oh wait, hold on. Well, let me let me draw and then we'll decide what we're gonna do. What is this? What? Oh, uh -oh. that would have been nice before. It's not worth uh -oh. anything now. So I got 10, 10 mana, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is awful. This is really bad. This is not good. Uh oh. Um so basically I'm gonna take my Forgotten Sage and I'm gonna attack him. Because he's got time. Yeah. Which, which removes, removes the, the Aegis and the weakness and does and one weakness. damage to me. That's right. And then I'm gonna pass. Okay. I'm really? Afraid. Yeah. I have to pass. Okay, I'll draw. This goes up to eleven. Um. Okay. Okay. So I will attack you. Does this thing do anything on death? No, eh? No. Uh, this has two damage on it. Uh, that will be one damage. No, I'll attack you with all my dudes. Me. Oh well. Yeah. So how much damage is that? So that is uh, one plus uh, one plus three plus two. So okay, I'm at fifty-one health. I did it as you read it. I counted them down. Okay. All right. And I'll get rid of all this weakness now. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of my turn, I will play. Oh, when Snaff died, did I draw my two cards? Oh, maybe not. All right, I'll do that then. That would have been nice to have remembered before. Play this guy. And then I will let you go. Okay, cool. So up to 11 endurance drawing. Nice. Okay. All right. So. Now, there's a thing about ordering here. So, uh, who did you play? Sorry, the Siege Ice Golem. He has Taunt and Aegis. What are you doing? You're playing so tanky. What is this? <laughs> All right, okay. So, um, um, that's such a strong card. The one you picked up? N no. All right, I'm going to play another Unrelenting Assault. All right. Uh... So what this is going to do, now there's a question of skill order. So first of all, do we agree that it splashes damage... Across your board first. Uh, I I assume so. Yeah. Okay. So let's splash the damage across your board first. That so is that, such a strong card. So that protection is, is gone. That protection is gone. Yeah. The Aegis is gone. The Aegis is gone. The protection halves. You, well, you said it would do one damage anyway, right? Fire elemental's dead. Okay. Uh, and for the ether seal. Smoke scale's dead. For the ether seal. What do we say? It did one damage and he had protection. So it removes protection and it must reduce that one to zero or it turn or, or let's read it. Hold on. Protection receive half damage. It doesn't say. So I I think last time we rounded up. So this time we round it. It means as well. that if you ever get attacked by one damage with one protection on you, the boon is useless. Because yeah, it can't reduce sense. it. But it's it is still useful. Yeah. But yeah. 
It is still useful for high damage hits, all right? So it does the one damage, so... Yeah. Okay, so that's the splash now. And then you got five might from that. Yeah, so five might... Um... Just remember it. Don't okay, put them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. So then five... So we, we have a seven damage attack here. Yeah. So it which looks I'm like gonna... you can kill Aether Seal. Yeah, I'm going to slam onto the seal to kill the Aether Seal. Oh, boy. That was a ridiculously powerful card. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Yeah, that's... I mean, the Aether Seal's felt very strong, but then I just destroyed it like that, so that's nice, I guess. Okay, now, with all of that dealt with, that cost me one Endurance, so I'm down to ten now. Ridiculous. So I'm down to ten, and now what I'm going to do is... Um, how many damage tokens has that Siege Ice Golem got on it? Just one. Just one, yeah? So, uh, why does he only do two damage, my Sage? Because he's not good. How much damage does he do the ice golem do? Uh, two. All right, and here's what I'm gonna do now. Wait, okay, how much I'm endurance ready. have I got? I've got ten. All right, I'm gonna play nine now. A razor. Fury. Okay, got it. Yeah, and yeah. so this is gonna be able to attack your guy immediately. Mm-hmm. Taking two damage. Yeah. So I'll go down to one health, mm -hmm. and you're at one health. Yeah. Yeah. So let me put uh my tokens. Oh, no, that would kill this guy, because he's got four health, minus one. Oh, oh, okay. All right, well, that's a go. positive. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm on one health with Razor, yeah? Yeah. Now, the Forgotten Sage is going to attack the Smoke Scale. Yeah. Which is going to put the Sage on one health. And kill the Smoke take another damage And kill the Smoke Scale. Now, last but not least, I'm going to spend my last four mana, uh -huh. okay, on... Um, Project Tranquility, which is going to remove three damage from all my minions. Okay, sounds good. So these guys are back up to full health. Look at the mess we're making on the table, I love it. All right. I feel like the Revenant skills are way too strong. Maybe, maybe. Look, it's a new <laughs> class, they've just added it. So boom, there we have it, and uh, then, my friend, I pass to you. Great. Okay, I'll draw a card. <clears throat> You got uh, up to 12, thingy. Yeah. Um, let's see, let's see. Wow, this is no good. I got the board, finally I got the boards. I got nothing going on here. The thing is, what's gonna be amazing is when we post this, someone's gonna watch this and realize that like, probably me, it's always me when we do these things, I've been cheating somehow. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be like these terrible cheats suddenly revealed to the world. Uh, like uh, I'm going to, whatever, I got to put stuff out. So I'll play for Absolute Patience. Ooh, Absolute Patience. Summon, return a minion to its owner's hand. So oh, that's a bounce, but you don't have anything to bounce. Well, I have things to bounce. No, you didn't have a, a minion on the board to return but to your hand. I could return your minions to your hand. Oh, you can. Wow. Yeah. So goodbye, Forgotten Sage. Dude, why would you... All right, fine. Well, you don't have any Forgottens out there anymore. Oh, that's fair enough. I mean, I might have more in the deck. Yeah, I know. But also, your your Sage is uh, wasn't damaged. He was back to full health anyway. Okay. And I'm not going to bounce your other guy. He's got Fury. What's the point? Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe you're right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then that is Oh, and then I you've suppose. also played a Vinia here. Uh, yeah. Move a friendly damaged minion back to your hand. Oh, unfortunately, nothing's damaged. Oh, so. oh, I'm really lucky with how that turn went just a second yeah, ago. Because if you'd bounce really some ether shame. seals, if you bounce those, that was really those, a shame. Oh my god, is that your turn? Is it? I guess so. Yeah. Did you draw that turn? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm up to twelve endurance. Draw. All right. <clears throat> Wait. What is the difference between these two? I'm just trying to figure out what order I have to do this in. I'm going to drop this Forgotten Sage that you killed a second ago. Okay. Yep. So he's back. So he yeah. has gained one Aegis for each Forgotten in my arena, but there is no Forgotten in the arena. Yep. yep. Now I'm going to summon the Forgotten Arcanist, who costs okay. the same, yeah. has more damage for some reason, has Fury, and also gains Aegis if I have another Forgotten in my arena. Okay. So, so what really was weird to me, though, is they both cost the same. 
So I was like, yeah. why is the Arcanus got fury and more damage and no downside and blah, blah, blah. But the difference is the Sage can potentially gain loads of Aegis. Yeah. yeah. Well, this yeah, guy yeah. can only gain one. But he does gain one. So we okay. have a Furied Aegis Strike now. Worth mm -hmm. three damage, which are going to ram into the face of your absolute patience to kill him. Okay. Um, oh, he only had one health. Crap. I was looking at his endurance. It's All fine. Right. You, both okay. of your things do the three attacks. Which, which, so. is, which is there. Now, Razor gets his turn back as well. And what Razor's going to do is he's going to uh, attack your face. Okay. For three damage. So I take two damage because oh, of the yeah. protection. Yeah. And then, yeah. Good. Okay. Right. Then, uh, and then I, and then I, I pass to you. Okay. Let's see if there's any good cards in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess this is good. Yeah, uh, this could work. Oh, I'm so stupid though with my target a second ago there. Damn. I'm gonna oh, play well. Zomoros. Zomoros. Draw, oh, draw summon. Cards. Draw five cards. Spend your entire turn uh, unless you get a one cost spell here. Damn. Five cards. That should be legendary. It's pretty good that yeah do you have a one um, cost to now drop I, I do not i do not unfortunately do you um, choose to attack with avinia i think i might want to oops get out two of here. damage somewhere of your choice let's see let's see did you attack you attack me directly with the other one eh mm. yeah i'll attack you all right my revenant goes down to 49 health. you got a lot of damage onto my face here yeah, but you have you're still pretty and sitting board. pretty on 69. I'm down in the 40s now. Yeah, yeah, right. it, it's hard though. Okay, go ahead. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna draw. Mhm. Mm okay, it's interesting. We'll probably save that this time though. Uh, we're gonna bump. Sorry, so we're at 13 endurance. We can spend 13 now. I summon. Casmir Mead. Casmir Mead. That's not good. And what she does is she steals a random card no. from your hand. So how do we do that? That's a good question. Okay, so I think what I'll do... Put them in a deck, ran, hit, shuffle it, and then I'll take the top card. Yeah, I'll put them like... All right, and I can't, I can't look either, so... I'm looking at like a, an area of the board now, so I can't see what's going on. I just, the art of one of your hand cards appeared in front of me. So I, I'm now looking over here. I don't know what it was, genuinely. I will yes. probably pause in the edit though to see. The other thing we one. can do, do you want to know which card I've taken? I'll figure it out. Because I could flip it. We could do it. We could make that evident to one another. If you want to uh, know no, which one okay. I nicked. All right, Thank okay. You. you will not know which one I've taken. Ooh, what is it? Ooh, boots. What is it? Actually, chance? you know because I've literally taken it from you. I've yeah, stolen it. like I know what I've had. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so it was a Vinia. No! That's pretty cool. I could even use that, perhaps. I wanted a Vinia. Now, the Sage, by the way, is aggressive. He was from last turn, so. But Casimir uh, herself is not. Oh, there's a lot to figure out now. <clears throat> what have you got on the field? You've got an Avinia on the field. Move a yeah. friendly damage minion back to your hand. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, Boots. I am going to attack your Evinia with my Arcanist. Okay. Okay. Sure. Now, so she's at three health? Yeah, so she's at, she's at three health and she's damaged my Arcanist. But we don't have to work out what that damage is because I'm immediately going to play your own Evinia back <laughs> to bounce my Arcanist from my hand back down. He gets down. fury and a new attack. Hold on a second. How are you playing all these cards? You just played Casimir. Oh, you're right. You're right. I did just play Casimir. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well remembered. That would have been so bad. Um, we'll leave my attack in play then. Sure, uh, sure. Because I messed so take up. take two damage on So her, I took two damage. And, on mine. and uh, yeah, good point there, dude. Uh, and now I have to pass. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. Good, okay, good, good. Because that, that was going to be an OP turn anyway. So there you go. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right, you're right. Well done. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, I guess I should get into the habit of... Uh, I'm going to get shouted at for that. But guys, I'm not used to this. I should get into the habit of actually spending the endurance. Yeah. So Casimir cost 12. I had 13. So I only had like, what, one left? Huh. Okay. So 
Let's see. Okay. That's a pretty nice card, actually. I'm at 14 endurance oh, now. Oh, what is wrong with me? I should have attacked your face as well with these two. Shit. Yeah, yep, yeah, right. yep. Yeah. Well gone. Um, oh, God. I'm just thinking. Okay. If I do that... Oh. For one... Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Yeah. I guess I could do that. Um, yeah, all right, I'll try that. So number one, I'm going to play Cancer Flunt. Oh, Flunt. Flunt, you bastard. Summon, claim a card worth up to five endurance from enemy arena for one turn. So it's like a mind control tech. Yeah, and I guess it doesn't redo the summon, so there's that. So I can't steal a, something back from your hand, Okay, right, right, right. Um, but you but can take him, definitely. I can take him... And I think I will take him. Okay. Um, now the question is, what else do I do? Uh, let's see. What did that cost you? Four. Damn, that's really efficient of you as well, because Flunt only works up to a five-cost card, and you did it to a five-cost card. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on. There's more things I could do. Uh, I think I will... I have a question. Yeah. Oh, the uh, coin landed on its side. No way. Yeah. Wow. wow. All right, go on. What's, what's your question? I have a question. So when it says uh, return a minion to its owner's hand. Yeah. Is it con current owner or owner? A controller or owner? Um, well, uh, in Hearthstone, if you were to make this play, I'm pretty sure it goes to your hand, not mine. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure if you mind control tech and then uh, uh, brewmaster or something. I'm pretty sure that that works. Really? If you pander it. Okay, that's pretty good. So I will attack with this guy oh dear. to the Forgotten Sage. Okay, yeah. he's dead. Yeah. Uh, and then I will cast uh, this guy and return him to my hand. Yep. Patience. Damn. Uh, and then I guess I'll cast him again. Okay. Because why not? So that's a total of three. and Yeah, that's eight. That's mm. fine. You're well and He's got fury. Um, so wait, I've done four, five, plus three. I've done 12 so far. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll attack... Hmm. Yeah, I'll attack... Kazmir. Kazmir, okay. So Kazmir has six attack. So she's going to kill your Razor. So he yeah. goes straight to the discard pile. And she only has one health left now. That's right. Okay. Um, and heck, why not? I'll uh, finish her off with Flunt. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I can't because Flunt just came in. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll finish her off with the Vin, yeah. All right. Okay. So. All right. All right, okay, that was pretty brutal. I got brutalized a little bit there. Mm, a little bit. Not enough. Oh, I'm getting all my early game stuff now. It's annoying. Oh, good, finally. It's annoying. It's annoying, Boots. It's not good. All right, so I'm up to 14 endurance now? Uh, yes. That's okay. correct. All right. Let me have a look now over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a thing. Now I've got three attack on my Arcanist. Flunt has um, two, health. two health and Patience has one health. Yeah. All right. But three attack. Yeah, so they both have I'm, three attack and you have one health. So I'm going to do a nice efficient little Wyvern. One health, one attack, Fury. Oh, goodbye. And he's <laughs> going to he's gonna kill that. Okay. And that's yeah. going to die as well. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack with my Forgotten Arcanist, who has how much health left? Three. One health left. Oh, what? He's oh, yeah, one health left. One health left. Oh, that would be quite efficient to kill Flunt with that then. Hmm. Mm. It would. All right, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, what <laughs> I'm going to do is I'm going to attack your face with him. Okay. 
Then I'm gonna. Pl so you take three damage. Two, two damage, yeah, because yeah, of the protection. Oh yeah, and the protection's now gone. Then I drop Ivinia. Oh. Bounce the Arcanist back, back into my hand. hand. Okay. Um. How do I? I'm really bad at this. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna play the Arcanist back down, and he has Fury, and I'm gonna kill. I'm gonna kill Flunt with him. Okay, so they both die. Uh, yeah, I guess I didn't really want that, but that's fine. No, that's okay. <laughs> I did want that. I did want that because I love how you have like a thousand tokens underneath your cards. Yeah, I know. Right I know. <laughs> I'm just like stacking them up. All right. So uh, after all of that, I don't have the energy for another play that I care about. So I pass it to you. Okay. Up to fifteen endurance. Turn fifteen. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm going to start off by playing a Skrit Mercenary to draw Ooh, a card. Draw a card. Okay. And then I will play a, another Hrathi Commander. Okay. Hrathi Commander. a card. Okay. And the Skrit uh, Mercenary is really strong. It like pays for itself in terms of being a card. It's yeah, probably yeah, gonna yeah. Do like, I, I've it. decided to try to make all my early turn things draw a card. Okay. So if I get them late game, it pays for itself. So you got tons of draw, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, I have seven left. Okay. So why not? I'll play this guy. He's got Aegis. Shadow Mesmer. And I'll Mesmer play Fire Aegis. Imp. And it deals one damage to your uh, lady. Okay, so Avinia takes one damage. Right, you've zagged the board up there. Just a little bit. All right. Okay. Um. You uh, is that is that the end of your turn? I guess so. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Vinia becomes active. <laughs> I draw. Hmm. I go up to fifteen endurance. Mm hmm. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to summon uh another Wyvern with Fury. Okay. Who's going to kill your script mercenary so he can't do four damage. Oh, that's annoying. Nice, okay. efficient little thing there. I go down to 14 energy. Yeah. Endurance. Well, and don't I do summon... that, though. What? Just leave it there so you don't remember. Oh, okay. All right. And I summon Ritlock Brimstone. Who has... Fury, inflict blind, weakness... And Vuln on whoever I choose. Okay. Oh, no. So, what I'm going to do... And he's got six damage. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack. Man. Uh, how much damage does Avinia have? Two. Two. Hmm. See, Redlock does so much damage. That blindness is quite extraordinary, actually, really. Blind's pretty good. So, like, if you put blind on the Shadow Mesmer, it'll basically cancel out the, the uh, Aegis. Yeah, but that's a ton of damage to uh, to suffer for that. The but shadow no, mesmer is really strong. That's what I'm saying, though. If he's blind, he won't do the damage, and he'll remove the Aegis at the same time as you remove the blindness. Oh, is that how you interpret that? Yeah, like, like if you attack Shadow Mesmer with anything, if he has blind and Aegis on, neither thing does damage to each other. All right, so you're telling me if I attack you like that with Ritlock, Ritlock won't take any damage in return. That's right. If if you put the blind on Shadow Mesmer. Yeah. All right, let's do that then. All right. So Ritlock okay. rips your your Aegis off for yeah. free. Except you can't you have fury on that guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fury. he's got fury. Okay. And um and he weakens it so it now only does 3 damage. Uh yeah, okay. And it has Vuln on it, which isn't relevant cuz he only has one health anyway. Yeah. Uh, and what I do is I uh, I attack it now with Avinia. Oh no, not Avinia! To kill it. Uh, so Avinia takes three damage um, on top of the one she already had. So, so she's still sitting pretty left. with two health. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I get it. Um, and that's my entire turn because Ritlock's got damn expensive. Yeah. He's good though. He's All good. Right. All right, I draw a card. What do I got? Really? Really? That's great to have now. Um, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. Hmm. How much endurance do we get per turn? At max? 
Surely it caps. Does it cap at 20? Yeah, I think it caps at 20. Okay, 20 per turn, right. So I will summon Logan Thackeray. Okay. So Aegis uh, on himself. Yeah. He also uh, gives everyone might. Give each of my minions two might, yeah. But it's actually one might because they have weakness, but in terms of tokens... They don't have weakness. You, you you put weakness on the guy that died. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So okay. they all... Oh my god, they got a lot of damage now. Well, not really. They're both one attack already. Yeah, so they're now three so attack minions. Yeah, but... That puts them in a pretty sweet spot, though. Well, sort of. All right. And one more. So much. Okay. Yeah, this is like so fiddly. All right. Ugh. All right. Um, and then what I think I'm going to do is uh, do Enfeebling Blood. Okay. On to... Two uh, Weakness. Yeah, on to Ritlock and Avinia. Oh no, I guess it's just two to one guy. Yeah, you're gonna do two damage and you're gonna Yeah, put so two I'll inflict weakness. I'll inflict weakness two weakness on Ritlock. Okay, and two damage. Yeah. Alright. Uh That's one weakness. So his next two attacks are halved, basically. Yeah. Okay. And I will attack Um You with the fire imp. Okay. Uh, Actually, you no, I'll attack, is in my red. I'll attack Avenia. I'll attack Avenia with the fire imp. So you're going to oh, kill no, both. No, she has. No, sorry. I attack you with the fire imp and Avenia with the Harathi commander. Okay. So I take one on my rev. Three, three damage. Oh, sorry. Yeah, three, three on the rev. And then the Harathi commander takes two damage. Takes but two. But kills Avenia. And kills Avenia. Okay. All right. And that would be my turn. That's a pretty good turn, Boots. All right. I know, I know. So that was your 16 endurance turn, yeah? I'm up to yeah. 16 now. Okay, I'm going to draw. <clears throat> All right, what we got here? Okay, oof. So 16 endurance. Hmm. I need to, I need to hold that, though. Oh, this would be so cool, though. The story of what I could do here. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I'm going to cast um, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sin to the battle. What does she that has do? fury. She inflicts weakness and vulnerability to whoever she attacks. Oh, whenever she attacks, okay. To whoever she attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to attack. Um, and she has five damage, all right? Oh so what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with Ritlock, who currently has weakness on him, which halves his damage, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to attack your face with Ritlock for no. three damage. Okay. And now Sin, and, and Ritlock has just put blind, weakness, and vuln on you. Wait, hold on a second. Let me see what... Oh! Get out of there? Get out of there? Oh, sorry. Well, oh, it inflicts. I thought it was when you summon Ridlock. You get to no, 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 no. It's not summon effect. It's just on uh, hit. Okay. Yeah? So yeah, okay, that's fair. That's your fair. hero is now blind and yeah. has to skip next turn if you try and use a skill next turn, I guess. I guess. So. Weakner, weakened, so he does half damage with any skills when he next tries to use one. So He's Vuln. Vuln means he takes, takes double, double damage. damage. So Sin oh is now going to attack you in the face as well. Put in more weakness and vuln on you, and ten damage. So he's got weakness, vuln, and blind. Two, two weakness. One vuln. One vuln and ten damage. Oh boy, yeah, that's maybe. not good. Did you cat? Did you do Ritlock's initial three as well? I did uh, Ritlock's original three. Yeah, I did. So I okay. do another ten damage. You said. Yeah, ten damage, baby. Oh my I'm god. I'm going to that's, your face. All right. That's now not that, good. that was seven energy. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do with my next two is I'm going to cast Inspiring Reinforcement, which is going to give three of your minions one weakness. So I'm going to half the damage of oh all your guys. Oh my god. I all hate right. that. Okay. So we're going to we're gonna 
go a bit. A good offense is a good defense right here, Boots. Yeah. And so we're going to half anything you try and lay in on us. So there you go. Okay, 13 damage on. turn. I, I pass to you. That's not great. That's You're a on. lot of stuff. Okay. You're uh, on 17 so now. On 17, I draw a card. What is this? Uh, that's okay, I guess. Um, so I got blind on me, though. Mm -hmm. Wow, blind on a person is really bad, huh? If you've got skills. I don't have any skills left, so I'm alright with it now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter if you blind me. Weakness, weakness. Okay, so this is back to normal. Yeah, he gets to attack now. He's got a bunch of weakness on him, though. I guess I'll start by um, giving, I'll cast, if I, I'll try to cast Reapers, oops, what's happening? I'm stuck. Man, you still got so much health, even after that big aggressive turn there. Oh, you just wiped your I health out. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Uh, nice. I will start by trying to cast hmm. uh, Reapers. Uh, but you're blind, so you can't even try, can you? I wouldn't think that works. I guess that... No, it, it works. I just... It it means, like, I can't do direct damage, I guess, with it. Well, on our little cards on the right here, it says blind lasts one turn, and it means you have to miss a turn. Oh, like the guy can't... See or do anything, I guess. Really? It's Is not just true? attack. It says miss a turn. You got a little card on the right of... Yeah. I don't know how you want to interpret that. Oh, Jesus. So if you blind me every turn, I miss my entire turn? Yeah, I can shut you down until you kill my That doesn't my make any sense. Foe. Okay, so so then if that's the interpretation of blind, mm -hmm. what uh, what the killing of the guy with the Aegis doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> like when Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So that was a while ago we did that. So do yeah. you want to do our no. interpretation of blind, which allows you to cast your spell this turn? Or do you want to yeah, rewind the board damage. all the way to that point? I think I want to do... Yeah, because when you said that earlier, I was like, is that right? Yeah. I think I want to do our interpretation. Okay, all right. So you can cast your skill then. I just can't do direct damage to things with my attacks. Okay, all right. And it runs um, out after one turn. Yeah. So I will cast... Hmm. I will cast Gloop. Okay, another Gloop. Two. Oh, nice! Look at how good this is weird, because I thought you'd be the one using a lot of conditions. Who so do you I'll cleanse? Remove, I'll remove Logan Thackeray's condition for one. Damn, man. And right. then I guess I'll remove... I'm wondering, should I remove... Yeah, I think I'll remove the vulnerability. Uh, I don't know. Because you inflict vulnerability anyway. Yeah, on both of them. So no matter what, I'm going to be taking double. I'm going to be taking double damage all the time. It, does it does it like multiply? Or does uh, it just remove a stack? Well, I would for, guess you'd... Uh, does it stack is the question, right? Oh, no. It would just remove a stack every time you hit with it, I think. And then just double the damage each time. Yeah, but what I mean is Ritlock put Vuln on you and then Sin put Vuln on you again afterwards. Yeah, that's why they're still vulnerable. But was the original Vuln, Vuln consumed with Sin's attack and then replaced by that same attack? I think the original Vuln was consumed. Yeah, that was the 10 damage. And then yeah. re it replaced the Vuln. Okay, yeah, all right. That's fair enough. Yeah. I think that's fine. Um, so I guess I won't take off vulnerability. It's, yeah. it's yeah, it does still save you. Five damage yeah. if you get punched in the face by sin. It's true. It's true. No, I think I'll just take off her wrathy commander. Okay. His weakness. Weakness. So and he's on three damage still? Yeah. And I will cast Undead Lich. Oh, God. Undead Lich. Remove all enemy boons and taunts. Not that great right now, but whatever. I don't have any. Okay. And then finally I'll cast Death Shroud. Oh, my God. Death Shroud. Uh, turn remaining endurance into might for your what? 
And it costs what? That does one damage. You can cast that on something. Yeah, but it, it misses because of the blind. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Jesus. So, so that, wait, 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 wait. That's. Oh, it says max four. Okay. All right. So uh, they all get four might, do they? Uh, well, it's actually three because I cast Gloop, which was one. 12 from the Undead Lich, and then one from the Death Shroud. So that's before casting it, I had three left. Okay, all right. So yeah. three might on all your guys. Wow, yeah. your board is really scary now. Hold on, might makes right. Did, so did you deliberately play a heavy buffy character? Knowing mm. it would be fiddly with tokens? I, I didn't even look at the spells, oh. honestly. Oh, yeah, that's true. This is all Necro stuff, really, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so, I guess I'll hit your face with everything. Whoa! Okay. All right, how much damage is that? Or should I... Yeah, no, I'll hit your face with everything. Jesus, this could be over. This could be about to be done. What do you do? do calculate well, how much damage, each creature. How much, you got one, two, you, five, five hits left on... How much damage do you have left on your um, uh, Ritlock? Um, health. Health, yeah, five, right? Uh, I have eight health, and I have two markers on it, so uh, I guess I have six health. Okay. I only see two damage markers on him, so I guess I have six left. Six remaining on, on Redlock. Well, Gloop is also turned sideways. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm wondering. I'm wondering, should I... Oh, maybe I should, yeah. Yeah, okay, so I'll, uh, in instead of attacking you with Harathi Commander, I'm going to attack Redlock and kill it. Okay, uh, so do they both die? Yeah. Definitely? Uh, yeah. Definitely. Okay, all right. Uh, boom, bye Redlock, sorry man. You did and good. Then, and then I guess I will attack... Uh, I will attack... You inflict vulnerability afterwards, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, no, you know what? I'm going to... Hmm. Yeah, I'll kill Fire Imp to Sin. Okay, so they're, they're all dead as well then, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll attack you with Logan for 12 damage. <sighs> you played that turn really well in the end there. So 12 damage. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jesus. I'm 34 health. All right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, I draw. I gain some endurance. Let's have a look here. No, that's not good. That's not useful. All right, so just add up your uh, damage on your mobs for me. Uh, okay. 20... Uh, no, 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 damage. each one, each one. How much? Okay, Undead Lich is, is 10. 10. This is 4, and this is 12. That's 12, all right. So, I'm going to make a great play here. Uh-oh. Right. I'm going to spend 11 endurance on summoning Queen Jenna, who can destroy any minion worth up to 14 endurance. And I target oh, no. her on Logan Thackeray, no. who has 13. So, bye-bye. How cool is that that Queen Jenna kills Logan Thackeray? That is so... Pr that's probably going to happen in lore. Definitely. Definitely. Now, that cost me 11. Yeah. So, I have 6 left. Yeah? Yeah. So I spend five of that six on another Forgotten. A Forgotten Sage. Okay. And I pass to you. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, man. I'm very upset that you did that. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to cling on here. What is this? Oh. Wait, I don't get this. Do you... Okay, I'm going to show you this card and please tell me what it means. Okay, let's have a look here. Life Reap. Target something and do damage, two damage. And then steal all damage from your cards and give your her hero as health. There's, well, there's a typo in that. Um, <laughs> what I would guess by steal is you turn your damage to zero. Okay, so like the damage foes. on my cards becomes zero. But you gain the healing equivalent or, or in infused to your hero. Okay. I guess. Now okay. I'm my interpreter. Uh, Steel could also be just for this turn, but you'd think it would have written on there for this turn. Steal damage from your cards, and then full stop. And then you'd say 
your hero gains this as health. Yeah, uh, I think so. It, but it, I, it, that's in terms of the writing of the the skill. In terms of just like, would you ever design a skill like that? It seems a bit weak, to be honest. How much yeah. energy does it cost? Uh, Endurance? two. Two? Yeah, I don't know. That seems weak. Yeah, Maybe it's not bit. weak. But it's anyway, like sabotaging your entire. It's, board. it's way weaker than your other dude. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know. If you want to take the one way, you just lose all your damage this turn and gain the health. Then I think I up. think it's you remove the damage on your bad guys, like on your good guys. Like yeah. if if I had taken damage, you remove it and then I gain it as health. Yeah. I think that's. What oh it means. oh damage oh 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 you mean like it heals them? Yeah. But then that doesn't wait make sense thematically now. Does thematically it? it doesn't, but it makes sense considering the power of your other spells. Maybe, maybe I don't. Oh, maybe I don't gain the life. Maybe I take you, the damage, and put and take the damage for my hero. Oh, that would also be crazy. Where was the skill I cast that had this interaction on it? What was it called? Which one? Well, I had this interaction, didn't I? I don't think so. Yeah, and one of my spells. What are we talking about? You take damage from your targets, right? I healed all my guys at one point. How did I heal all my guys? Uh, you, I don't know. It was Project Tranquility, was... wasn't it? Remove yeah, three projecting. damage from all your minions. And your spell says what? My spell says steal all damage from your cards and give to your hero as health. So yeah, it must be I take the damage from my minions. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I'll do that, sure. Okay. But what damage have you got? Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> but you don't have any damage at all? Yeah, yet. I'm going to attack your Queen Jenna oh, with Undead I see, Lich. I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Kill your Queen Jenna with Undead Lich. Okay. She's dead. Um, she had six attack. So she takes six damage. Yeah. Then I will uh, deal one damage to all enemy minions. Okay. And gain two protection. Okay, so I'm down to two health. I gotta find the protection. There's one. There's two. Yep. Uh, then I will cast Life Reap. Yep. And deal the two damage. Uh, so all the oh. damage that your guys have taken, you now heal. Yeah, but the protection makes it so that... Well, actually, this cancels out one invulnerability... And then this protection uh, reduces it by three. I How suppose. does that remove a vulnerability? Like a protection cancels out a vulnerability, probably. Oh yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then the other protection makes the six damage turn into three, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and I figure I could. Wait, 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 wait. Because your hero used a skill on my sage, you just took damage on your hero, right? Uh, did did no. I just see you do that? Okay, good. Because I haven't been doing that. No, I took damage. I took damage because of the Ender Lich giving me the, the damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but I do two damage from Life Reap to your Forgotten Sage. Yeah. Kill okay. It. Which kills it. You know, but that's an interesting thing that I just thought of there. When I cast Unrelenting Assault on a specific target, should I not take damage from that target? Uh, ooh, good question. Because neither of us have done that no, with any I of our spells. No, I don't think so. I don't think you do. I, I just defaulted to thinking it wasn't because I was thinking of it like a, a hero power or something, but it's not really, so I don't know. Yeah. And it's probably wrong to think of other games and just assume that those are the rules. All right. Wow. But that instead, a I'll, uh, I'll gloop you up for four damage. Four damage. One, two, three, four. Jesus. All right. All right. Not, not much can save me here, I don't think. I oh, think I'm, I'm done. Think okay, I'm good. I'm happy about that. All right. Yeah, you got a little bit competitive there. We ready to uh, draw? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I got 18 endurance now. Um, I summon a fire imp that does one damage to all opponent uh, opponents. Boo! Kills the imp, and uh, the lich takes one damage. Uh, get top decked. Lich, <laughs> really. Go on, it's your go now. Okay, I will uh, get endurance. Draw a card. Oh, interesting. I will cast Rending Claws. Okay. Inflict two Vuln. Oh, no. Onto you. Yeah. And deal the coming. two damage to your Fire Imp. 
Oh, okay. So I don't remove a stack of vulnerability because of it. Yeah, so I got two vulns on Your my fire rev. Imp's dead. The fire imp died. And I attack you with undead lynch for 14. 20 damage. Oh, 20 damage. Oh, no. Well, I'm down to 10. This isn't good. And one of your vulnerabilities. And one vulnerable goes away. All right. And I guess that's it. Man, you just doubled your damage with your top deck. That's ridiculous. All right, I draw. <laughs> I don't think anything can save me here. Um, I'm at 19 endurance. Yeah, I, I think that's it. I think it's over. I summon Saboteur the, uh, Saboteur the Saboteur, uh, who is passive. I pass to you. Okay. I will draw a card. What does she do? Well, draw two cards when you... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a very similar card here. The and, Risen High Wizards. Wow, okay. And, yeah, that's right. and I will attack you with the Undead Lich to no. kick your butt. Necromancer OP, BS. everyone. BS. Wait, I've been waiting the entire thing. This is BS, Boots. <laughs> this is BS. <laughs> oh, man. Damn it. I had Demos in my hand the entire time, and I was like, but it was like a 30, I was, sorry, it was a 20 endurance thing to cast. Ridiculous. Oh uh, well, there you go, guys. That is the uh, Guild Wars tabletop simulator card game. Heroes of the, what was it called again, Boots? <laughs> Heroes of the Mists. And there's actually there an expansion as well. So if you enjoyed this, um, uh, please do take a look. There's a link in the description. All the relevant information is down there. It's introduced me to Tabletop Simulator too, which I've actually really enjoyed. So This is a great sim. Yeah, I like this, actually. It's been cool. So thanks very much for coming along, Boots. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we will see you for more good stuff very shortly. Bye-bye. That was awesome. Oh, I never used, used the nudge controls either. Oh, wow. Well. Nudge that all the way over there. Anyway. Oh, well, there you go. Tabletop Simulator is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I reckon, though, it's you've got to be careful with what game it is. Yeah. Uh, that's cool, though, because that teaches you so much about card games and, like, the importance of the way things are phrased and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah.